All right, everybody, let's talk about the Armored Valkyrie, which became the Crusader. Hello, everybody. My name is Preston Poulter. Welcome to my channel, Lords of Iron. So I put out a video about all the different Valkyries. Info card to go check that out. Just click right there in the little box. So I have some very astute viewers, and they made the observation of, hey, what about the Crusader? It's based on the Armored Valkyrie, which you can see in Miss Macross. You sure can. Here it is. So the plot of the episode is that the Zentradi are kind of curious and sending in a reconnaissance plane and Rick, who's supposed to be on patrol, but he's checking out his girlfriend who's in the beauty pageant, is like, oh, well then I'll just jump in this super armored doodad. Why does the super armored doodad exist? Primarily to sell toys. What do I mean by that? Like, well, we don't see a ton in the show. It's just like, oh, if we can have these little variations, then we get to sell more merch. So, kind of expanding the merch. But the Armored Valkyrie was cool. I mean, it's so cool, you wonder, how come we didn't see it all the time? Like, if you're just going to make the thing better, they're constantly in combat. Every time they're out there fighting the Zentradi, how come they aren't fighting them in these things? Anyway, in terms of the Crusader, the Crusader was a cool mech. Couple of LRM-15s, couple of SRM-6s, couple of medium lasers. What's not to like? But I gotta say, it wasn't as good as the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt could just move in close and just, boom, here's the large laser, and here's the SRM-6, and here's the other short-range package. So the Crusader didn't get as much love in that early box set as I think it really should have, because it is a pretty cool mech, and it's certainly probably the most efficient translation outside of, say, the Archer, which I bought. Hey, info card, check that one out, too. So... The Archer is number one in my book. The Crusader is probably going to be number two. And the Warhammer is going to be number three. And again, the reason I rate the Warhammer so low is because I feel like they cheated. It's got those hatches there for the chest-mounted missiles that they don't stat out in the Battletech game. That's not a faithful rendition of the design, fellas. Anyway, so I'm sorry I left out the Crusader which was based on the Armored Valkyrie. This has been Preston Poulter with Lords of Iron. Thank you very much for your time, everyone. Take care.